I got one more for you guys. A drone one. Can you tell? Or you think that's just like we're throwing the camera in the air or something like that? Our homeboy Malicious Mike hooked us up with the fun day of drone and Riker riding. So we made a cool video for you guys. Thrill Mouse Moto. Malicious Mike hit us up. He says, you got two Rikers. I got a drone. I want to film you. So we mess around. Mostly just messing around. Show you some, just some test footage. Wanted to figure out how it goes, how it works, and see what all we can do. Came out with some pretty cool plans on, on some stuff in the future. So figure not waste the footage and show you guys some of it. I do some cool picture-in-picture -picture stuff. So comes out pretty sweet. Like I said, us just goofing around. If you've seen other videos before, then you know what to expect. So, two Rikers. I got, um, Ryan's got a 2020 Riker 600, and mine is also a 600, and it's a 2019. If you're new to the channel, hua, ha, throw boss moto. Just getting bagged up, ready to go. We're actually kind of beating the rain on this one. Mike hit us up and said that it was raining on his side of town, which is, was a weird day for that because we got some sprinkling that I actually didn't even notice until I actually was editing this video and saw that the lens was kind of getting wet. I cut out most of that stuff. It's, it's not really about the ride. It's really about us going out there and getting the footage. But I'm trying to keep in mind, there's a, you know, a few viewers that haven't seen the other you know the other videos haven't seen the Riker uh, these type of angles so I keep all that inside there uh, the DJI um, Osmo action that's what I just strapped to the front there and that's actually the same manufacturer that made the model drone that Mike is flying in this video which is kind of cool uh, we learned that in the editing and filming this, so like I said, this is test footage. This is our first time meeting up with Mike, and it's actually my first time even seeing a drone uh, in real life. So you'll kind of see that and, and answer your question why I'm so stoked about it when we actually see it. But we learned that the it, you have to match them up, I guess, because it's shooting at a different resolution. So that's why in that beginning part there, I still wanted to use the footage. It came out great. It's just going to be kind of crop some with those borders. And then I kind of I kind of show that later too, but then I do some cool picture in picture, so it shows like a, a wild angle, like like you're watching a video game of someone riding a Riker, and then like an aerial view. So make some jokes about that too. But DJI Osmo action up front there, and then using the GoPro Five session mounted on the helmet. So you'll probably see a few different upgrades on here and then see some stuff missing because this is actually some older footage that I haven't got around to so I've actually have the front Elka stage 3 shocks up there on my 600 uh, currently yeah, but I do have the RLS exhaust the Predator in this video I think it's pretty quick after we got back from that trip and had uh, Ricky of RLS exhaust install it for us and Waxahachie which is a pretty good video and if you're kind of wanting to hear how that exhaust sounds I have some other videos about that and then I have the actual install video when we went to Ricky it was more like a, a trip tour of his little shop but you can get some cool sounds on this one I'm going to kind of have it blocked out so you can hear better if you don't know if you don't know about RLS exhaust but it's kind of loud so which is what we were looking for but you can see the rain there in the clouds that's what we're trying to beat. We actually get to the spot. I'm looking for a spot. I thought I knew like a cool straightaway spot somewhere around the toll and then I could not find it. So we're just kind of going around in circles and then I'm like, well, we'll just forget about it. And then I go, wait, what? And I see this black top here. And that was like, man, that's gotta look great because we won't get washed out by, you know, the white road when he's doing the drone footage and actually looks pretty legit, like on a commercial or something. Fresh black top paved with some fresh paint, yellow paint, white paint on there. And we just pull over and um, hit up Mike and mess with this drone. Do a couple of different weird shots. Like I said, we had no idea what we were doing or what to expect. And 
you know how how to shoot it so you could just see us brainstorming like i said test footage so hope you enjoy i have no idea where that spot is but check this road out yeah black top and it looks like a road but no one's gonna be on it you know what i mean <laughs> And it's like really good, you know? Yep. I wheel Django crazy when I went off on it just then. So it's not, it's like real porous like it seems, you know? Grippy. So this might, this might be cool because you could have us come in, you know what I mean? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. And then if not, he can like follow us to another spot, you know what I mean? I don't know. I definitely had to rip on you on that domino grip. I mean, they match, but man are they nice oh yeah it, it, it makes it a whole different experience i told you dude yeah they feel firm and they're actually a smaller diameter which i like you know you feel you can grab it better you know these dominoes oh and and i found so I've been looking at hand guards too. And to get just the metal, well, yeah, you can get the whole setup for OEM, but then there's all these companies that do ATV and dirt bike ones where they like clip, just clip here and then they just stick out. But there's crazy uh, like matte black ones and stuff. You're talking about to get these? Yeah. Yeah, cause I could buy this part, but then I think it would be the same price. There's like these ones that they do ATV where they, they grip here. There's just not this side. Oh, so yeah. it would like come out, but they're like matte black. So I'm like, man, matte black might be nice. It'd be cool just to do something different. Exactly. This is for personal, not commercial use. Private. Private, exactly. This is the DJI. What was it called? DJI Mavic Mini. Oh, Mavic Mini. That's the camera, guys. That thing is little, dude. You got a Terminator neck. The Terminator toys. Yes, sir. Confirmed complex weapons like knives and stabbing weapons. Here for the disclaimer oh. for Homeland Security. Ultralight. 249 grams minus the sticker the one thing you never forget to do is put your joysticks on i've done it before and it... it'll stick off it'll just sit there and then like i'll show you with the center Oh, wow! You're looking at it on the thing. Yeah, but you're supposed to just fire the fire on. Oh. Okay. So, you, so you're just seeing what you're capturing, but you're really looking. You no, know I have is um. So like, I have a pan down and pan up. It's like it's been like an animal or something. You know what I mean? That looks fake. That's for real. <laughs> First Grand Theft Auto on computer when you're GTA just seeing, like the top of the car. Two or one? One. We mounted it. Okay. 
Okay, so definitely had to start with this view here. Like I said, so there's gonna be like a border and stuff. We have to figure out on what, how we're gonna match resolutions with our camera to really do like a, a cut between each camera view. But I figured that was still pretty cool. It's just wild seeing the Rikers in like a whole nother angle and that you need, you, need, you just don't see. So even like the, the other footage we did with Miller, I think I'm dropping before this one. I already edited it just seen cause he shot that one on his black magic camera of Kevin and I riding through the hills and everything around like Travis and Oasis coming up, come back from Oasis and just seeing it from another view, like from someone in front of us cause they're, they're in their convertible and, and filming us from the front. It's just way cool. So seeing something like that right there from like a bird's eye view, that's something like in a commercial <laughs> or something like that. So like I said, we figure that out. Also, it's kind of a drag a little bit later. I, um, we start getting crazy with it, coming up with ideas on how to use the drone and get some cool footage, you know, just to test it out. And I forget to turn on my, I was just so stoked after this run right here that I forget to turn on my front camera, my helmet camera, the, the GoPro five session. So that was kind of a drag. So, but luckily I had the DJI going in front. So I definitely give you a bunch of angles on this and that's kind of where we're aiming at by testing out the drone footage. If we can just do some other type of rides and then just kind of have that every now and then to, to sneak in there as an extra cut it, it's kind of what we're aiming at. So we give them, um, like I said, this is our first run so we give Mike a little bit of time to get set up and figure out how he wants to do it. So we just kind of creep on them to see what that footage looks like on this right here and it's wild because you, you cannot see it and then look how high it is right here you definitely cannot see it so I'm like okay did we pass it up is it right there so pretty cool little shot technology man is wild you can do stuff like that I thought it was crazy just having these action cameras and how well they look they make it look like we know what we're doing I have no idea what I'm doing like I said I, I don't even know if I'm turning it on or off when I'm using this stuff and now you got cameras floating above you with like the same resolution and, and cool stuff. So we we'll do another drive through right here, but we're, we're already having fun. We don't even know what it looks like, but you know, from the sample you showed it, it's like, nah, it's going to be tight. But check out this. I do a little quick zero to 60 here just to look cool. Look at that. That's like a video game. That's way too cool. So I was like, oh, if, if he set it up right. So once we once we come back around, we park and we're like, let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Like how you'd imagine us being. But this has been a while since we actually shot this. Like I said, if you're keeping up mainly on Instagram, uh, I'm usually pretty trying to be as current as possible. Not always. I'll be putting some stuff from weeks ago, but every now and then I'll post something like straight up that happened that day. So, you know, my Riker 600 has come up just a little bit from this, but like I said, at least I have the exhaust on this one. I don't have the front suspension and stuff, but if you want to keep track of our Rikers, I think we even posted one of Kevin. Kevin's got that cool, uh, Zerati shelf on the side of his that we posted on there. My <laughs> Bucky's, he's got this little Bucky's cooler he put on there, but look at this. See, that's wild. I mean, it looks fake. <laughs> like I was saying earlier, that does not look real. That's like a video game. And just seeing the Rikers at this angle, period, that's wild. Yeah, they do look like scorpions and stuff. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to show you guys the, the best footage we got out there and then try to cut it with the rest so it's not just, you know, the little window thing so you can see everything, but... So we try some other stuff out. I got a crazy idea. I was like, what's that noise? I was like, is that my Riker? I got a crazy idea, all right? Yeah. All right. I'm landing. Well, what's your idea? All right, a lot of times <laughs> when we're in a lane, 
Barry's on the left of the lane and I'm on the right of the lane like this. What if you put the drone with the camera facing forward down the road? We come at the drone and we split it. I'm gonna test Michael's drone skills. Man, I ain't there yet, brother. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. We'll get you there. So we do Ryan's idea, and it actually ends up being pretty cool. And this is the, this is the part that I warned you about. Yeah, you can see there is no red light on the front of that session because I am not filming. Actually, I was trying to film him get this get the the plan, and that was me turning it off. Um, and then thinking, you know, I've been in reverse this whole time, so I actually think that I have it on right now since that point. So. But luckily, like I said, I got the DJI film, so you do see that, but we we'll probably won't focus on it as much. We'll try to, when it matters, we'll look at the, the little picture in picture I put there for the drone footage. But like what Ryan says, we normally, you know, stay to one side on the lane, even when we're close. And we, we tell him to put the drone like in the middle of the street, like in the middle of our lane, and then we're just going to split it. Um, but the trippy part about it, is that we think at this point that we can actually see it, but you cannot see it even when it's that close until boom, you know, it's right in front of you. Maybe it's because it's overcast, maybe because whatever, I don't know. We give them some time to get ready. I think when we see them start kind of walking out toward the street, we're like, I guess now? But we just keep going and going and I kind of wuss out, I'm not gonna lie. That's why I wish you could have had the view from the the hero session that's on my on my helmet because I see it and then I move my head a little bit and then I kind of get mad at myself so I get like insanely close on the on the next run when we turn back around but I think you can see it's going over that white top there and then coming at it but see that was you can, actually you can see my head uh, cocked to the to the, left, to the left like that because it would have been on my right but then I'm like okay okay I got this because I was like hope that doesn't really show up that well on film that I did that because I was like whoa which is pretty much when you see me move that's when I first saw it so definitely not safe and definitely read the disclaimers on everything we are not showing anybody on how to do anything I don't know why people get that mixed up but look at this one Okay, that's when I was like, I can get close. I can get close. And I think that might have got Mike to not do it that close anymore. Uh, he actually, when we come back around, we do it, I think we do it like one more time. And we come back around, he's like, you should have saw what it does. He said, just that, that time just then when we got so close, it like swishes to the side. And I was like, oh man, maybe we shouldn't be doing that because what if it swishes to the side you know it hits hits ryan or whatever but he also says they make like little lights for them so we'll probably invest in one of those um so we can see it because that was a hot shot that, that's really cool getting some footage like that would be really neat maybe even like real low too um from the side yeah. so we do it one more time this one's kind of high still looks cool because it's like a shot you know that after it's done like that, you're like, well, how did they do that? You know, I mean, maybe people don't ask that because they know drones more than we do. But I would have been like, yo, what? <laughs> how did you do that? I'm not used to the drone world. But I'm definitely convinced they're really cool investments. And I think that's the lesser expensive one that DJI makes. And Mike plans on investing on the on the bad boy, the bigger one. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, way too much fun. And you'll pretty much hear it from us. It's gonna be so tight. Wow. Walking out, I was like, oh, he's ready. <laughs> and then I came out, and then I was like, where is it? I was like, oh my god, there it is. And was like, yeah. we, you can't see it. Well, from our view. That's what I was thinking, though. No. You can't see it, it's so small. Yeah, yeah I was like, like oh, right there. Yeah, yeah. And I saw you get close, though. <laughs> Yeah, so 
that's what we were talking about that. And like I said, that's probably what kind of made malicious Mike pick up the height a little bit on there because we got way too close. And then when he told, that's when we first found out that it actually like shoots off to the side based off of like the way the wind from the Riker and everything. So maybe with two people, not as, not as smart to do. But hey, we're learning. It's test footage. So we say, you know, still hasn't rained on us yet. Like I said, Mike just came from the other side of town. He said it was like boring. Like he he was thinking that we weren't going to want to do it. So um, little shots of the, the creek there. We're going to a park that's in town and that Mike's used to. So we figured we can get some cool shots. They got some donkeys and some cute little buildings there. That might be cool and some drone shots. And we just try to do some more footage. We got the rest of the day. Uh, we actually knocked that thing out pretty quick. I thought we were going to be still kind of come up with ideas, but we mess around here, figure out what kind of drone shots we want because we really have no idea what we were looking for. We just heard drone, shot, Rikers, filming. Let's do it. So we do that. Uh, we learned that you can't um, shoot around donkeys and animals. I was trying to get them in the shot, but Mike explains that to us, so we end up moving over and just doing some other stuff. Uh, we're also going to end the footage off with an outro that Lydell made us. Oh, you can't? Damn it, because I was like, man, that'd be cool to get that donkey in there. the drone around animals. That makes sense. So like the spinning things will trip it out. The donkey will be like kicking things, <laughs> kicking the fence down. <laughs> well, he's already looking at us. Actually, I forgot to mention too, this is like a, this is like a chilly day. It came from like triple digits or like super hot. <laughs> we weren't ready. I was just wearing kind of long sleeves and stuff because it was in the morning, so. How do you want me to go like that? Whichever looks cool. Can you chase us running through the woods holding hands? He's got a... We're trying to broaden your portfolio. Dude. This, uh, what am I, what am I doing? Um, I need direction. Give me direction. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, um, you just lost your job, right? Um, <laughs> you're, uh... I don't work! I don't work! <laughs> okay, uh, uh, um, you're, um, you're going on vacation, yes, right? Yes. No, no! And, uh, <laughs> So it's like labels out type of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Labels out, so getting, like, the trademark Chiquita banana in there. Uh, that's Thrill Mouse. I would, I would keep... That right there, you know what I mean? Okay, out. Point it that way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that how you talk with that jacket on? John Travolta, remember he's yeah. Gary? Yeah. Terrible. And like, I'm going to be hanging out underneath the stage. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to send it off with some of that drone footage and our a preview of our outro, our new outro by Lydell.